Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. It's so good to see you guys and for you guys to see me. Um, I finally have some time to film and I wanted to do a video about some updates and some new decks and some decks I'm going to be selling. So um, I'm just going to get right into it, I guess. <laughs> I think we'll talk about the decks I'm going to be selling first because I think a lot of people would be interested in seeing that. Um, so the first one is... One, I'm not sure if I want to sell, but I think I will because I already own an Albano Weight Tarot deck. This one that I purchased was actually a disappointment to me. Um, and the reason why I want to sell it is because it's so glossy. I don't like super high gloss decks. They just don't feel right to me when I'm reading with them. I don't know you guys I might change my mind later on I love the Albano weight I have a really like a beautiful relationship with mine that I already have um, I purchased the other one that I have used and um, I don't know there's just something about this deck it's right away obviously but the color schemes are so different the backs look like this they're white with the Sun <laughs> um, but this the color scheme in the about a battle weight is so different from the regular Rider weight. The colors are just so much brighter, as you can see. They're just way more vibrant. They're yeah. kind of blurry, though. That's the one thing about it. Um, like, the faces are very hard to kind of see, you know, the little details and whatnot. Um, oh, I think this is slipping. <laughs> the faces are a little hard to see, so it, it can be a bit blurry. But, I don't know, there's just something about the colors. They're just really bright. Some of them are funky, like, um, oh, there's a rainbow on top of the Temperance card. I don't know if I want to sell this. We'll see. I'm going to decide, but as, uh, at least you guys could see it. Where's the pentacle suit? Here we go. The pentacles are, like, green and red. That was like always something that stuck out to me when I was looking at this deck. Um, I don't know. I love it. Some skies are purple. The wands are orange. So you, you could tell it's like really vibrant colors, really different. I don't know if my Albano weight has the fire glow on the around the hand. I have to check and see if mine has that. Because I know mine is an older version. It's it's an, an old, it's a more vintage version. Um, this one's more new. It's literally brand new. When I bought it, um, I took it out of the shrink wrap. So the only thing about it is the box is very old. So we'll see, you guys. I may not put this one up. I might change my mind because I love Albano weight. But I wanted to show you that because that is a possibility. What is going on with my camera? <laughs> um, so that is a possibility, but we'll see. Um, the next one I have is the Angel Oracle of Angels. So I have a lot of um, angel decks. I was going through like an angel phase a couple years ago. And this one was one that I always would pull out to read angel readings. But um, I have since kind of outgrown my angel phase. And I only need a couple angel decks. So this one was one I was thinking of getting rid of. Um, so it's an oracle deck. Those are the backs. They're really pretty. The color schemes are nice. The art is beautiful. Um, and they have gorgeous message, messages. The cards are sticking together. Believe in dreams. This one's harmony. So as you can see, the, the, color, the cards are really pretty. So if you guys vibe with angels or you, um, you know, you've been looking for an angel deck, this might be a really good one for you guys to, to use infinite potential <laughs> um, so this one will be going up for sale I don't work with it anymore and I instead of having it sit there and taking up space I would rather this is probably my favorite card out of the whole deck rather than it taking up space I would rather um, put it up for sale and have someone take it <laughs> um, and give it a new home and love it and work with it. It comes with a guidebook and it also comes in this nice box. This is the guidebook, Oracle of Angels. 
And it's a pretty nice guidebook. Um, I didn't use it too much. I will say that. I would just read the cards like how they came with the messages. But that's the Oracle of Angels. And it's by Mario Duguay. In case anyone was wondering. The other angel deck I'm going to get rid of is Archangel Michael. I love Archangel Michael. I love working with him. He's my top go-to. He's a protector. But um, I don't need the deck. The deck is just, it doesn't work for me. It sits there. It comes with a nice little guidebook. It's by Doreen Virtue. So, really jam-packed with information. The cards themselves have golden edging, and it's kind of chipping away on the corners because I was, you know, I was working with this deck. Um, so the backs look like this. This is Archangel Michael, or Doreen Virtue's version of um, Archangel Michael. And then the cards themselves have a photo. They have a prayer at the bottom, and then they have like the, the oracle message at the top. So they all look that, like that. It's a really pretty deck. Um, the prayers, I really didn't go, didn't, didn't vibe well with me. Um, but somebody who is totally into this angel thing might appreciate it a lot more. Everyone has their, um, their thing and their way of reading. So if that looks like something you would be interested in, this one will also be available in my shop for purchase. It comes with the box, of course. And then the final deck I'm going to be selling was a gift. So I have two copies of this deck. One of them was sent to me from one of my clients. So my, if my client, if you're watching this, this is not the one you gave me. <laughs> this is actually um, a deck that was gifted to me. And the person that gifted it to me, I no longer talk to. And I don't like their energy. I don't like what happened between us. And I don't want the deck in my space if that makes any sense okay so this is the druid animal oracle i've worked with it a couple of times but like i said it sits there it takes up a lot of space because it is a large box <laughs> the one that my client gave me um the box was actually a lot smaller and i want to say um the deck size was pretty much the same maybe they were smaller cards i don't know but the backs look like this they're really pretty with the animals and then you have the animal on each side um, really nice beautiful artwork and then of course you have to use the guidebook because the guidebook is where you'll get your message um, but like I said I am giving this one away because I don't vibe with the person that gave it to me anymore we don't talk we're not friends and I really don't want anything from them in my area in my space um, that's part of me like when I s split up from people <laughs> when I separate myself from people if I just if I have anything around me that reminds me of them because they gifted it to me or, or whatnot usually it goes away um, I just don't like to have that kind of energy around me so this deck reminds me of her and I just don't want it around anymore <laughs> I would be gl I gladly keep the one from my client because obviously that was gifted to me from from them and you know that's special but this one um, I don't need two copies and I would rather give this one away so this is the guidebook that comes with it it's gorgeous it's a beautiful guidebook and it has a lot a lot to say about each card there's just everything it's beautiful you guys so whoever wants this deck if you vibe with it and you're just feeling called to it it will come in the box it will come like this um, shipping might be a little bit more expensive because I know shipping is I think it's like $13 in the US for um, the not the small size I don't think this will fit I don't think this will fit in a small box, so it would probably have to go in a medium-sized box unless I try to ship it um, in a bubble wrap, but it might come out to be the same price. Who knows? I'll try. Um, but shipping will probably be about $12, $13 for this deck, so um, because 
of this <laughs> this the price of shipping this deck you know may not be um as cheap I don't know I'm gonna see I'm just gonna see how much it'll be um, and then I'm gonna see how much it's going for in other places that's usually what I do is like I like to see what other people are charging or what other people are um, pricing their items at and then we'll go from there so it looks like that <laughs> the Druid Animal Oracle okay now I want to talk about new stuff. So this is new stuff that I have in my collection now. Um, getting rid of old decks and whatnot is making space for new stuff that's coming in. So I had a huge amount of decks come in recently, yesterday. Um, working in a metaphysical shop, we get items at wholesale prices, and I just couldn't say no to purchasing some decks for myself that I could use for readings in the shop as well as in my own business. Um, and they are decks that I have been wanting and the fact that I got them for half off is really cool. So, <laughs> decks, decks, decks. So the next, the first one is the Botanical Inspirations deck and book set. This deck is beautiful. And look at how it opens. So it opens from the top like this. It's so, like, it's just so nice. And then it comes with a deck bag, you guys. So it's a cute minty color deck bag which I'm gonna put it in because the boxes take up a lot of space um, and then it has this cool little fold-out pamphlet it's so pretty and it has every single flower that's listed in this deck and it has like a quick little um, you know keyword message if you don't want to look through the guidebook the guidebook Excel itself is like this and it's super cute it has a lot of messages I was already pulling cards for myself yesterday um, and then the deck is like a minty, just like a vintage mint. I don't know. It's just so pretty. It's so delicate, and it, it's gonna go really good with my vintage, my Victorian, ro uh, my Victorian flower oracle, and probably the Victorian romantic tarot would look nice with this. I think. So it's like a, a vintage mint. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> and then the cards themselves. This was the one I pulled for myself yesterday. The yellow rose. Um, they just have like a really vintagey look to them and they're really delicate because of the flowers and they're just beautiful so I'm really excited to have this I love flowers and I love the fact that it's an Oracle deck um, so if anyone is interested in this deck it's um, available on Amazon I've seen it on Amazon and maybe eBay I don't know if eBay would have any right now but it's really pretty really excited to work with that one. The next one I got is Soulful Woman. Now Soulful Woman is an oracle deck and it's one that I've had my eye on for quite some time. I love this kind of artwork. Um, it's really pretty. There's a lot to look at. There's colors. Uh, beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And then the messages. It's all about women empowerment. Um, I'm definitely taking this one to the event I'm going to be reading at tomorrow night. Um, because the messages are powerful. So the backs of the cards are gorgeous. But the guidebook is even better too. It's jam-packed with information on each card. There's spreads in there too. Beautiful. And look at the backs to these cards, you guys. Who doesn't love red and gold? I love the way red and gold looks together. I think it's just very um, rich and goddess like I don't know I just think it's sexy it's just a beautiful color scheme that goes together um, but the cards the artwork is beautiful and then the messages I embrace my body I honor and embrace all of my body I am receptive to her specific needs this deck is gonna go great with my menstrual cycle the blood moon reading that I have in my shop this deck is gonna go great with just powerful um, messages for women for self-love I'm totally seeing this as like working with everything this is my vibe this is so me I love it so I'm totally getting into it the one I pulled for myself yesterday was loving from the inside it is a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence <laughs> but look at how beautiful it's just gorgeous so um, I love it. I'm already in love with it. It's already in my night bag because um, tomorrow is the big event that I'm reading at and I'm I'm using it. So, so excited. 
Then we got the Buddhism reading cards. So this was a different kind of a deck. I was really curious about it, and I decided last minute to just put the order in. So the guidebook is beautiful, and it's going to be very helpful because the cards themselves, I'm not going to show all of them, obviously, but the backs of the cards are photos, like, like artwork of Buddha in different ways. Oh, just so pretty. I just love, I love the vibrancy. I love the colors. And then the messages on themselves, um, on the card, it's just like a huge, just a gigantic message. You can use it as a mantra. It's, it just works. It has its own system of reading. So I'm going to be learning that. But, um, I think the Buddhism reading cards are going to be really fun. And I'm probably going to be creating its own reading, its own service in my shop where I will specifically use this deck this way. Um, I can keep it, you know, specific. Um, I think that that works best. I tend to do that with a lot of my, like, special decks or decks that are a little bit out of the ordinary. I like to create a specific service for them. I just think it works better that way. So, that's the Buddhism reading cards. Just put my guidebook back. <laughs> Um, the next one I got is the Chakra Insight Oracle. I have had my eye on this for, like, for months. I love working with the chakras. I love working with um, just the the power of color. The color um, is just important to me. It's It speaks about our emotions and our feelings, and color is just everything. So the chakra insight um, cards come with a guidebook, which will be very, very, very helpful. I love guidebooks. I love using them, with, especially with my oracle decks. My tarot guidebooks I don't really use too much because it's a tarot deck. You know, I'm pretty used to um, reading with it. But the Oracle guidebooks, I'm always, I'm always using them. So, the the deck has the chakras all on the back like this, beautiful. And then they have their own image, the colors that go with the color of the type of chakra you're working with. And there's even oh, this one's beautiful. Seeing <laughs> the third eye, obviously, sexuality for the solar plexus, or not the solar, the, the sacral chakra. Um, and then you have the chakra card, so there's the crown, but look at how pretty. So right now, like, when I work with the chakra cards, I've been using the ones from the Psychic Tarot, but now that I have this deck, I, I can totally have a specific deck for my, um, chakra reading, which is also available in the shop, so, um, that's going to be really exciting. I can blend that with an oracle, or I'm, I'm sorry, with a tarot deck, because the chakra reading is huge. <laughs> I think it's like 20-something cards, and it's just huge, but we tap into all of the chakras, so I think it's going to be really good. The last deck I have is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. So this is the only tarot deck that I purchased because I have so many and I don't need I don't need tarot decks. But this one was so beautiful, um, I couldn't pass it up. The box itself is gorgeous. It's a dark, like a black and blue and gold. It's just it's so pretty. So let's open this big boy. And I had a magical moment when I opened him up. The cards were just, just, I don't know, I can't explain it, like electrifying. There's just something about this deck. I think it's going to be a really good, a really good, um, companion. The book is amazing. Look at how huge it is. It's one of those chunky books, so I'm definitely going to set time aside to read it, because even though I know my tarot, um, this book will, will speak to this specific deck, um, on its own so I definitely want to dive in the one thing I did notice about the dreams of Gaia tarot is that it associates with the elements so any tarot deck does but they're not really like loud about it but this one is so the card backs are beautiful they are like a dark dark blue with a gold trim and then the sides let's see that pop of gold oh it's so pretty and then the cards themselves are just beautiful, dark background, jewel tones. And then, oh my God, look at this one. Oh. It's just vibrant. It's beautiful. Um, they have different meanings. Like, you're not going to see the fool. You're not going to see, I don't know if there's the high priestess or whatnot. The the court cards, they, um, they're just different. So, like, this is the mother, which is all, obviously the empress, but it goes by a different name. So, um, this is abundance, which is number 15. I think abundance is 
Number 15, is it the sun? It might be the sun. I don't know my numbers with the tarot. That's awful. <laughs> um, this is the eight of water. Or it would be like the eight of cups. But it's different, obviously. Like this eight of cups is very different from the eight of cups and the rider weight. So that's exactly what I'm saying. Like why working with the guidebook is going to be interesting. I love it because it's going to give me a, t a chance to kind of relearn the tarot. Look at this. This is the five of fire. Oh, it's beautiful. So... Oh my gosh, look at this one. This one is, I think this is the Ace of, this is the Ace of Water, I think. It's a one, so it's an, it's got to be an Ace. It's a dragon. Beautiful. So, now you guys know what I'm saying. Um, it's beautiful. I, I didn't think I was going to be attracted to a deck like this, because a lot of, like, the colors and detail like that sometimes turns me off. Um, I like it for Oracle decks, but for Tarot, I like something more simple. So I'm not so distracted when I'm doing the readings, but for some reason, this one is just calling to me. So I think this is going to be a really good fit. I'm, I love it. And I think it's going to be, um, it's going to bring a whole new energy to readings. So I can't wait to read that. <laughs> but before I start reading with it, um, I need to sit down and read the, the book to help me because it's definitely, it's different, very different. Okay, and then the last two items I wanted to show you guys are actually crystals. So this is a necklace that I purchased on Etsy, and I can't think of the name right now. I don't want to take time to search on my phone. But um, I will, I'll try and remember to list it in the description box. But there's a witch on Etsy that creates these gorgeous crystal necklaces, and this one was calling to me. It has the giant moon on the top, a crescent moon, and then it's a quartz crystal here. It's beautiful. The point is rather sharp. Um, I love to pack this one away and wear it when I'm at the shop giving client readings. It just makes me feel super witchy and <laughs> it just brings forth like that vibe. So um, it's, a, it's one of my new faves. It's heavy. So it usually like it'll sit like maybe right, right here. It's beautiful. And then I have my Herkimer Diamond. So some of you guys have probably already seen this if you follow me on Instagram. But my Herkimer Diamond came into my possession when I put out the intention of wanting one. So I saw one in a video and I was so like mesmerized because I thought it was so beautiful when I was watching the 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 person do a video about it and just talking about it and moving it around I could see how it just like shimmered and it was beautiful and I was like oh I want one in my collection so um, I had put the intention out that I wanted one I was searching obsessively for it I didn't find anything that I wanted to pay for because they they are expensive um, and then I stumbled upon a website inner vision crystals and they were having a sale because their crystals were, their their website was celebrating like 11 years of business or something like that. So they were having a sale that, that day. It was like, I don't know if it was like two or three days, but that day was the last day. It was a 50% off sale on their Herkimer Diamonds. And I was like, that is a coincidence? Or is it fate? You know? And it was one of those things where I was like, I don't know if I could pass this up. 50% off. So... The price I paid for him um, was very decent compared to what I would have had to have paid if I had have paid full price, and there was no shipping cost. It was free. So um, I was just floored. Like, it was worth it. It was worth it. He wasn't expensive, and people are asking how much I paid, and I don't really feel like I need to share that information, um, but... I'll tell you guys, it was decent. It was not, um, like, super ridiculous. Like, people look at something like this and they think, oh, my God, that must be, like, hundreds of dollars. It, it wasn't. <laughs> but um, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it just, it just wasn't originally priced what I would have paid, I guess I would say. Um, but half off, I would definitely pay. So it was worth it. I love it. It's beautiful. And the vibe is good. I meditated with him last night already. Um, I love his imperfections. His points are not perfect. They're flawed. So this point is actually flat where the point should be obviously pointy. The point here is broken at the bottom, which is also most likely why his price was the, so generous, was so cheap <laughs> compared to the other ones, other, other ones that I could have bought. Um, 
but he's, you know, he's an imperfect Herkimer diamond. There's beautiful ones out there that are perfect and they're tiny and they were, they're worth double what I paid for. So it just goes to show um, what you want to pay for is what you're going to get, you know. I love bigger crystals. I love chunky crystals, crystals that are going to fit in my, the palm of my hand. I love like the big crystals and whatnot. And <laughs> hi, baby. <laughs> I love the big crystals and everything that's just, just gigantic, um, but obviously if I wanted to get a huge Herkimer diamond, that would be thousands of dollars, and that's just not feasible. But this one, he was worth it. He was, you know, at a price that I could pay, and he's a big size. He's, he's a nice, or actually a very decent size in my opinion, um, but I do feel like he was priced cheaper because of his imperfections, because of his broken points. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like that's the reason why he came out to be the price he was. And I felt like it was meant to be. He was meant to be with me. So I love, I'm all about imperfections. I am not perfect. I don't strive to be perfect. And I know I'm not perfect. And I embrace everything about me that is not perfect. Um, and I feel like that the same goes for the, you know, this Herkimer Diamond. He's not perfect, but he's still beautiful. So he's mesmerizing, to be honest. And his shape is just funky. He's like all like trying to be round and trying to be like a diamond shape but he's not he's just he's imperfect and I love it so that is my new Herkimer diamond I am excited to have him in my collection I think he's gonna be a showstopper when I have him on the table you can see the glow right here on the you can see the little rainbow he's emitting <laughs> Um, he's going to be a, a showstopper when I have him on the table when I do readings for clients and stuff. So I think it's going to be a really good relationship. And I'm happy he's in my collection. So that is everything that I wanted to show you guys. That is everything new that's going on. New products, new, new tools, blah, 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 blah. I think the only other update I have is that um, the prices in my Calculating Moon shop have changed um some of them are still the same some of them i've changed i've raised prices some of them i lowered prices um i'm doing it because i want my services to reflect what i'm charging in the shop okay so a lot of you guys um know that i have services in my calculating moon shop that have been known to be rather cheap um bargain some of them are like bargain prices to be honest for the size of a reading you're getting um, and I do that because I know a lot of my client base has budgets. Everyone has a budget, but I know that a lot of my clients do have budgets. But um, I have decided that because I'm working in a shop and I am serving a the prices that the shop asked me to price my readings at, um, I'm learning that I am worth a lot more time. <laughs> my time is important, and I'm learning that the services that I'm offering are worth a lot more than what I've been charging online. Um, and I've grown, you guys. Like, I've gone from free readings to, like, two, three, five dollar readings and then jumped up to ten, fifteen, and then now I'm, like, in the, you know, twenty to fifty dollar range. That's usually, like, that's kind of my sweet spot right now is, like, twenty to twenty, twenty to fifty dollars is, like, the max like where you'll find most of my services now um, and I'm starting to try to creep my way up a little bit more um, I do have a limit of like what I feel for me personally I feel comfortable charging for myself um, generally I don't want to go above a hundred and twenty dollars or so for some services there are some services that I will ask for a hundred plus dollars for and that tends to go with couples readings when I'm doing them in person because it does take a lot of energy for me to give a full-blown reading for one person and then a full-blown reading for their significant other and then I'm doing a full-blown reading for the two of them together their their relationship so um, as you can see something like that would take a lot of time and that's why I price the way I do um, but I just wanted to put it out there that my prices are going to be going up or they have been going up. Um, some of my services I took away and some I will be putting back eventually. So I kind of like to switch things out <laughs> in my shop online. I just like to, you know, put in new content, take out some stuff that's not, you know, getting a lot of attention or that people aren't um, purchasing. I, I like to take it out to make space for other stuff. Um... But that's what's going on. So if you notice changes in the shop, that's what's, that's what it is. 
Um, what else? Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow night, I'm going to be reading tarot at an event that the shop is hosting. So I'm going to be there from two o'clock. We go, we set up at two o'clock and then I'm going to be there reading for clients. Um, from the event starts at five. So from five to nine, I believe we're going to have games and like raffles and stuff. And then I'll be reading for 10 clients, 10 people, you guys. And these are like 15 minute readings that I'm going to be doing, but it's a lot. It's, it's something that I need to mentally get myself ready for. So tonight I plan on, you know, meditating, getting in some sleep, um, meditating tomorrow to like ground myself. Um, but I'm really excited because it's, a event that I will be, you know, be getting paid for. Um, and I'm excited to do this. It's my first big major, major event. Um, I've read cards at other events, but it was for either donation based or it was no, nothing at all. I was just volunteering, but this is my first legit one that I am getting paid to do. I'm setting up. I have a tent. I have a table or I have two tables. I have, you know, a setup and everything. So I'm really excited. I will take pictures because I know some of you guys wanted to see pictures and everything. I will try to put some video together maybe to do like a little quick vlog. Um, but I think I'm going to be so busy and running around everywhere. I may not even have time to do that. Um, and then I have a second event that I'm going to be doing in LA, downtown LA. It's at the Vortex. Um, it's going to be the 27th of May. Tickets for that, I believe they're charging $15 a ticket. Um, and it's going to be a whole group of just creators. So there's vendors, there's going to be food, clothes, crystals, um, me as a tarot reader, music, artists, um, live music, drinks, food, everything. It's everything. It's fun. It's going to be fun. Um, and the proceeds go to Planned Parenthood. So it's a charity event and it's just going to be to support your local Planned Parenthoods. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be one of those things that's going to be really fun and exciting. So that event, um, I'm going to be setting up a tent as well. I'll be hopefully in the corner of the, the room <laughs> away from the speakers and all of the music because um, I can only raise my voice so much and, and yell, but I love to be, have like that, um, calm ambiance when I'm doing my readings for clients. So if you guys are in the LA area or you are planning to go check it out, it's going to be very much fun and stop by and say hi to me, you know, stop by my tent, <laughs> stop by my tent and say hi. I'm going to have, you know, little handouts and, um, my business cards out and I'm going to be creating some flyers, some fun flyers that you guys can take home with, um, you know, information about what I'm, um, what my services are at the Cackling Moon. And then, um, I have some bookmarks that I created that I'm going to be handing out to those that I give readings to. So I'm really excited to see how it goes. Um, that's going to be another big major event. And so this, this whole month is just full of stuff. On top of all that, I have started and launched my tarot classes. Um, so I work over at the Power of Three shop in Montclair and I am teaching tarot over there. So I'm, <laughs> I have tarot classes, I have students, I have, you know, these two live events. There's just a lot of stuff happening this month, you guys. It's a big, big month for me. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there and to, to tell you guys about it and yeah. Thank you guys for all of your support, and if you've watched this whole video all the way to the end, thank you. <laughs> um, but anyway, check the shop for updates. Um, when I put those decks out for sale, they'll be there, and um, hopefully they go to homes that people will love them for. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave some questions down below for me. I will be around to answer. Um, send me an, an email if you want. Um, stop by the shop, check it out, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.